Pre-inspection, which is where you take the partially developed negative and place it against a safe light to visualize how much more contrast you would like to give the negative, i.e. how much longer you want to develop. You need a very dark green filter over your safe light, such as the Rathen Series 3. Why green? Because humans see green light better than any other in darkness. The green has nothing to do with anything else. I recommend an 8x10 Kodak safe light, but a 10x12 is even better. You could certainly use a 5x7 size for 8x10 film. I simply recommend an 8x10 safe light or bigger because of its large size and thus ease of use. As far as a bulb for your safe light, I would use a frosted 7 and 1 half watt bulb. I think they work great. I've never had any fog of any kind with mine. So what you shall do is affix your safe light over the basin where you develop your negatives. That way you can simply reach down and take the negative up to the light and inspect while it is wet. Remember, pyro stains badly, so make that a short trip. Now, here is the procedure. Once you have determined what your general time is for full development, a little under that time, say 30 seconds or less, turn on your green safe light and pull your negative out wet of the developer. Shake the negative off a little, then place it about 6 inches in front of your safe light and take a look at the most dense areas. How dense are they, is what you want to ask yourself. If you need more density, turn off your safe light and continue development, say for another minute, and then inspect again. You can repeat this as needed. How long can you hold the negative in front of the safe light? I know you want to know that. Oh, certainly five seconds again and again. That won't hurt. How do you know what good density looks like? Wet, in the dark, under a green light, you ask. Well, you'll need to practice that. Your tendency will be to err on the side of too light and pull the negative out way too soon. That is, with not enough contrast. Fight that urge. To gain an eye for how a good negative should look in a darkroom condition, I would recommend taking a few of your best negatives and wetting them in water. Turn off the lights in your darkroom, let your eyes get used to the dark, and then turn on that green safe light and begin to memorize what good density looks like. Repeat this on a number of occasions and you should develop a good visual sense, especially when combined with really developing several negatives. If you wish, once the negative has been developed to what you consider a normal density, you can keep that safe light on for prolonged periods of time. I would make sure that the negative is, say, two feet away from the light. Myself, I run the light uh, continuously once the negative is in the water stop bath and into the fixer. Pre-inspection only works for ABC Pyro. With ABC you can continuously increase contrast until the cows come home. Not so with PMK. In overdevelopment it fogs and with Wimberley Pyro it actually bleaches so pre-inspection is very special to ABC